bounds. Do you have concerns that President Trump doesn't have the competence to be president? No, I think he doesn't understand. I, I doesn't understand all the things about the job. I mean, I was in to see him, uh, as, as you remember, the meeting that was uh, extensively covered, and then went in to talk to him about health care. I talked to him about my trip to Munich, a national security. I told him at the time that John McCain asked me to go over there, and people didn't want to see his generals. They didn't want to see his vice president. They wouldn't want to see his secretary of defense. They wanted to hear from him. And he said, yeah, I've been reading about that. I guess, I guess that's true. So there is a learning process when you become president. There's, there is a learning process for anybody. There was a learning process for me to become governor. So uh, what I'm hoping is he will become a unifier, will more understand the gravity of this job to stop the tweeting and bring people together. That's what I want. Let Senator just, Sanders, do you have a... No, I don't agree with John on that. Um, I'm not a psychiatrist and uh, not a lawyer. Uh, but there's something strange uh, going on, I think, uh, with Mr. Trump. You know, John, I, I don't know if you'll agree with me or not on this, uh, but there has never been a president or even a candidate who has lied all of the time. I mean, we're looking at Danner and Jake right now. Essentially, what he has said is they are liars. Don't believe a word that anybody in the mainstream media faces. Well, I'm sure you've had problems with the media. I've had problems with the media. But I'm not here to tell you that everybody in the media is a liar. That is undermining what America is about. This is a guy who said when a judge ruled against him, I believe appropriately, on this Muslim ban, he said, this is a so-called judge. This is the president of the United States undermining our judiciary. Uh, this is a, a president uh, who is trying to divide us up, whether we were born in America or born in Mexico or whether we are Muslims. This is not a typical president. I don't think this is just a learning curve. I think he's a smart guy. But something else is going on, and all of this leads me, and his affection for Putin, and is trying, all of this leads me to think that you got an authoritarian type mind here, uh, somebody who's not a great believer in dissent or democracy. And that worries me very much. Bounds.